Okay, back on the engine. I got uh, valve covers off, the heads off, oil pan, the uh, oil uh, pickup tube, the cover, uh, the back plate starter, all the connections. Everything's off of the engine except for the transmission. So it's just about ready to pull. Uh, took the transmission pan off, inspected that, and there's not enough metal in there to warrant uh, tearing it apart. So I'll take it down and service it. Um, but the engine has two, at least two, broken connecting rods. So, oh, I am definitely going to have to replace connecting rods in order to get this engine to work if the block is still good and the crankshaft is still good. Rather than have the block inspected and the crankshaft checked, I'm going to go ahead and use the other engine and put a full set of gaskets, seals, rings, bearings, uh, do the valve seats, new lifters, inspect everything with basic tools, uh, and make sure everything's good enough to put it back together without having to take it to a machine shop. If there's anything that's out enough that I should take it to a machine shop, I definitely will, or if there's any damage that needs to be looked at. But uh, that's my plan at the moment. So this is going to stay in there until I am ready to take it back out, take it out and do the uh, uh, inside of the uh, engine bay. I have uh, pretty much everything out of the way. I can clean the frame rails, clean the uh, firewall and the sides. Clean up the cross members, get everything cleaned up enough to begin with, and then I can get in here and do the brakes and cylinders and get everything up, updated and new uh, parts that need to be replaced. So I'll get all that done before I put the engine in. So all that's going to get done before I put the engine in. Uh, so I still have, like I said, the transmission to remove, that means drive shaft, and also the exhaust. Uh, for starters, I'm probably just going to repair the, the uh, exhaust, maybe a new muffler, and go with that. Uh, but, so you understand, this is my third try at well, rebuilding a vehicle to drive. First was my first car, which was a Chevy Impala, 72 Chevy Impala. But they swapped the engine out, and the engine was junk. And I just finally gave up on the engine and decided that I would not do it. And that was my first project. Now, who doesn't have a refrigerator for working on engines. That's what I'm using is refrigerators. That's my workbenches. But just think about it. You already got a shelf. Two of them. Great. Works good. You got a good table and everything. Do all the work you want. Nice. That's my way of working cheap I don't have to buy anything expensive so that's that oh I did get a uh, camera mount for my tripod or phone mount for my tripod so now I don't have to uh, rely on my hands all the time that's good news uh, anyway back to my efforts on building a vehicle so I gave up on the, on that I was about 19 20 
when I tried that. And then, about 25, 26, I decided I would try another vehicle, which, that didn't go too well. And I just gave up on doing vehicles after that. I do some work here and there on vehicles, you know, do some detailing or some cleaning and fixing and repairs and all that, but never tried taking the engine out, cleaning everything up, fixing everything, getting it all nice. Haven't tried that since I was in my 20s. So this is a big deal for me. Here it is. Oh gosh, uh, 35 years later, and I decided I'm going to try it, you know, so, you know, any encouragement, welcome, I really want to get this done, and just so you know, it's Derek's doing that made me decide to try this, um, from Vice Grip Garage, if you don't know about the channel, check it out. Uh, and then uh, buying the second truck, I decided, you know, why not? Let's just go all out on this, do something totally different. And uh, I got to thank Kevin Tate for that because uh, it, at Paintucation, his channel had he offers paint lessons and all that and he's tearing down vehicles and rebuilding them with new pieces and I'm like okay I can do that too if he can I don't know about that maybe we'll see I'm gonna try and uh, he's encouraging as well as Derek and uh, I appreciate Kevin and Derek but I blame them for this I am not going to thank them. I'm going to blame them until I'm driving the thing and people are going, wow, nice truck. Then I'll thank them. But until then, they're to blame. So if I run into big trouble, I'm going to yell at them and I'm going to chew them out and I'm going to see if they'll come and fix me up. Get me back on track. That would be nice. Derek can do the brakes. I'll let Derek do the brakes. He loves brakes. <sighs> no, he sure don't. <sighs> anyway, he likes tail lips. Tail light. He calls them lips. I don't know why. But anyway. <sighs> I just thought I'd fill you in on what I'm doing. Cleaning parts right now. Uh, Got to make... Plenty of room for tear down of the other engine because, uh, well, I just feel like I need to tear it down before I pull it out. Pull it out in pieces first. I, I don't know. That's just the way I want to do it. And I think it's a good way. So, anyway, have a good day. Enjoy your day. Thanks.